Well, here we are, boys. We're just coming in onto a little property uh, in the just outside Capital Sands. It's around about um, probably in the area of about uh, 21 kilometres from Capital Sands, and it's a place called Paradise Hills. We'll go in and go over this place. It's basically an unimproved property, all uh, coastal forest country, and um, it, this is the front part just coming in onto the property here now, and we'll go up and go through the property. It's good. Uh, views up on the hills we'll get up there in a minute and show you. a small set of cattle yards on the property this is them just here buyers and up to um, to handle the cattle that are on the place this is just a flat that runs away from the the small set of yards that's on the property and um, there's a little bit of marine cooch you look just there a little bit of marine cooch on this flat there's no salt water here basically but um, it um, just to give you an idea of the little flat just as you come in it's sort of not far in from the gate and we'll head on up now and have a bit of a look and the rest of the property. There's um, a couple of sheds and a little bit of an earth floor hut there that uh, the vendor uses to camp here when he's uh, when he's here playing around. Uh, Buyers, this property has got a considerable amount of timber. As you can see, looking back up in the background, there's a lot of spotted gum. I'll just keep back inside. There's a bit of wind out there. Spotted gum. There's good iron bark. So there's good yard timber. Um, beautiful uh, spotted gum for poles and also for um, for timber. Uh, blue gums down on the flats. So there's a considerable amount of timber here that could be harvested for anyone looking at a, a block with timber. And there's 601 acres, so there's quite a bit of this stuff uh, across this property. Um, bearing in mind that um, if anyone would be thinking of looking at a block for uh, for timber, this will give you a bit of an idea. There's, there's stringy bark, uh, um, blue gum, there's, there's spotted gum, uh, iron bark, you name it, it's all back in through this country. And at the end of the day, there's a lot of timber that's here to harvest now and a lot of timber available for harvesting in the future and um, of course a good thinning program would go good and run cattle here as now well. Buyers, just looking here um, you can see in there there's, there's uh, quite a bit of swamp back into there. There's around about 50 acres of swamp on this property and it runs back up into a nice little mahogany and um, blue gum, uh, bloodwood flat sorry uh, back up in behind me there but you can see the uh, the quality of para grass that it grows and, and uh, a bit more development work and a bit more pondage back off this here once this area down in this area here was cleared um, you'd have a very high carrying uh, area that would um, run quite a number of cattle back in this area here and it's predominantly a, a, a gravelly red type soil that's in this area here. Just moving back away from that um, that uh, swamp area that I just showed you there a moment ago and about 50 acres is about 100 acres of mahogany flat here and um, that swamp also could be cleared a bit more back up into the uh, in uh, from that swamp area but uh, this mahogany flat here could be easily cleaned up and and uh, made quite a bit out of it but in amongst it of course also you'd you'd leave the uh, the spotted gums and that that are here and, and there's quite a quite a few of those as well but um, could be made into a very useful little flat this one just, just another here. quick look here again buyers just to give you an idea uh, we're still on this mahogany flat that runs back off that swamp area and there's quite a lot of areas in there of swamp back in through this area and if you can look just back down in through there you can see what I'm talking about there's uh, all mahogany uh, tea tree cabbage tree uh, you name it it's all back and all that could be cleared and uh, put into uh, pasture uh, para grass and coming back away uh, humidicola those sort of grass to grow beautifully back in this mahogany area. I won't go too long here boys because there's a bit of wind but if you just look out there you can see that there's about a hundred metres of, of what's in front of me here uh, not where that water is but you can see what if, if some of this country was cleaned up this is what it would look like fully developed it really does and uh, para grass performs very well here so once it was tidied up and um, got into full scale operation, you'd certainly run a lot the of buyers cattle. were on one of the hills here, and actually this is where the vendor was uh, just telling me where he wanted to uh, 
to build his house, um, but uh, due to an accident that he's had, he's had to put all that on the side, and that's the reason why he's selling, of course. But you can see there the views looking out over the sea, and from here we're looking back out over Keppel Sands, Emu Park, and back out to the to the ocean. How many islands you say you've seen out there, Peter? Oh, I think it was 21. Uh, Peter's counted about 21 islands out through there, and there's, there's a great view looking back. You can see the salt works and everything back behind us here at the same time. Boys, what we're looking at here, we're just looking back out over Balmagown and then coming around uh, back in through there. <clears throat> you probably can't see it too well on this, but there's the uh, salt works, two salt works of Bejewel you can see. And then uh, we're looking at Curtis Island in the distance there and coming back around. So beautiful 360 degree views here, rural and sea views right the way around. So there you have it boys, we're back down near the front gate again but as you can see there, uh, we've been up and we've had a look, you look back behind me there, you can see some country there that um, <coughs> needs to be <coughs> put on the ground. But, um, and you can see also what the country will look like with a little bit of work done to it. And there's a lot of timber here, a lot of good uh, spotted gum, iron bark, and uh, also too there's some good stringy bark back up through that, uh, those hills up there. Now, the, the uh, separation of the country, I suppose the best way to explain it would be that uh, one half of the country is low undulating to flat, and the other half of the country is is basically running up into that hill, uh, sort of not overly steep and uh, steep in some places, but a, a general sloping hill, and running back down onto that good swamp over in the back there. And there's probably about 100, and, 100 to 120 or 30 acres of good flat country around that that could be developed up and really grow some top para grass. It's really good para grass country. I might add that. Um, <clears throat> the vendor talked about running 15 cows here with calves off as weaners. That is just on this front section. Not he's never had cattle over in the back section. They're just doing the new fence up over there now. So, so this as it stands at the moment, you would probably run around about your 25 breeders and calves off as weaners. And certainly with that bit of paragrass country developed, you'd run a lot more. So there you have it, boys. If you're looking for a place, uh, if you're a timber cutter and you want to get a bit of timber and that sort of thing, it's it's uh, well worth uh, looking at this place because there's very good uh, spotted gum and iron bark here. Uh, also, too, it's got the potential to develop into a good little grazing block at the same time. No house, just a bit of a shed on it. Uh, all here to be seen, boys. Give me a yell. Love to bring you down and show you over it.